Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. I was trolling around the internet. I was having a look at some uh, watch sites, just trying to, you know, have a bit of a read around. And there was an interesting letter. And uh, it talks about how do you advise someone to buy an entry-level luxury watch. And uh, it was quite an interesting article. And uh, this was uh, quite, a, quite an interesting look. And uh, it talks about uh, the 39mm Mont Blanc Star Classique. And uh, it's very, very, very interesting thing to look at. And uh, it, it used a pseudonym. It was saying, this is for his friend Larry. Larry the Lounge Lizard. And uh, it, it was a very interesting article. And uh, I'll just read you. This was from Purist Pro. Purist Pro. And uh, it goes, the 39mm Mont Blanc Star Classique. Uh, we have to give credit where credit is due. And when Mont Blanc comes out for a nice dress watch in a modern reinterpretation of a very classic design at an affordable price, I realized it would be an injustice not to share this on our site. And uh, it, it basically goes on to say there, it's a three-hand three -hand watch. There are countless designs of the three-hand watch with petite seconds. I, but I recently decided I really like simple, symmetrical, clean and classic designs. What comes to mind in no particular order? The Chopard LUC, XPS, Patek, Philippe, 5196 and 5116, Lange 1815, Vacheron, Constantine, Patrimony, Traditionnel and other classic designs and uh, it was really really good but the, the interesting thing is it goes on to say it says but wait what did all these have in common well for one thing they're near or above the twenty thousand dollar price range they're all in gold they're all hand round and while that may not be a problem for many people on purist pro it's a stretch for many individuals and uh, Interesting comment, and here on Purist Pro, we do welcome penniless college students with an understanding and appreciation for wristwatches. And uh, it then went into compare two contenders. And uh, case scenario, being the watch guy I am, a young friend of mine, we'll call him Larry, recently asked me what was a good watch I would purchase. He specifically wanted something on a strap and something classy, full stop. That was all he stipulated at the time. Later, as he was educated about watches, he would find out he had more requirements regarding size, case material, reliability, serviceability, price, and whether he wanted quartz, hand-wound, or automatic. It took a while to get it all out of Larry, but after some painful prying, Larry's final requirements were on a leather strap, dressier design but classic, Size, larger, more modern, over 36 mil, but below 42 mil to remain dressy. Case material, white metal, non-precious, ideally stainless steel with sapphire, crystal and exhibition case back. Reliability, something proven to be reliable and accurate. Serviceability, plentiful dealers and service centre to get the watch serviced. Larry was quite surprised it can take months to service certain models of high-end luxury watches. Price under 5,000 US dollars. Movement, movement should be mechanical and should be automatic. In the end, Larry found two watches he liked, one from Germany and one from Switzerland. The German Nomos Zurich Datum had caught his left eye and Swiss Mont Blanc Star Classic 39 mil had caught his right eye. And uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, the, uh, the Mont Blanc uses an ETA movement, fucking dog shit. But uh, the prices, the Mont Blanc was 33.40 US and the Nomos was 47.50. And uh, what do I think myself? What do I think? I think Larry, Larry needs to fucking grow a brain. 
And uh, I think Larry, Mont Blanc is a dog shit brand. Nomos is a dog shit brand. They're both dog shit. It's like your penis. You would like a really long, girthy fucker, but the reality is, Larry, that you just ain't got it. So, my advice to you would be to go for a smaller, classic dress watch from a big, heavy hitting brand. Big, heavy hitting brand. And there can be no finer than a Vacheron. And I was having a look around the net, because how would I advise young Larry? What would I advise him to buy? And uh, it's a really interesting question because Larry, this is the first watch Larry gets and this is going to shape his collection. It's going to ground him. And it's very important that Larry doesn't get stuck with an absolute piece of dog shit. Because if Larry gets stuck with a stinker, he ain't going to be terribly happy. And uh, that's that's the thing, really. You've got to be so careful. If you're going to get stuck with a stinker, man, it's not going to be a good look to have at all. And uh, my advice was, look, Brisbane Vintage Watches had a nice pre-owned Vacheron, and uh, it, was, uh, it was under the $5,000 mark. Now, on the downside, it was a wee bit small. That's the only negative, is that it is a wee bit small. But just like Larry's wallet, which is uh, used to being small, you know, you've got to, you've got to live within your means, Larry. And uh, Archie's learnt that lesson the hard way. And uh, life ain't always what it seems. And... Uh, this is just how it goes, Larry. You've just got to be happy at times where you can uh, get into a good brand. And uh, i got to say, if it was my choice there, I'd be going the Vacheron, the Vacheron way. And uh, there's, some, there's some interesting pieces around. There's always good pieces if you're prepared to look. And uh, that's, that's my, my view there on the topic. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. <laughs>